Hello, welcome back to the ministry, and today we're talking about, now you see me, this is part four, five, yeah, part five, and in this part, I want to do some clearing up of some things. Number one, I want to talk about the fact that I desire for you to have the wisdom and the understanding that where I left you off, they had just gotten the plans and the schematics. The wisdom of God will assort and align certain things that during certain times and certain seasons, he will give you the wisdom, the guidance, the direction of what his understanding is for the plans in which he has for you and for your life. So when he is guiding an individual, in this case, he had four individuals, you would take four individuals and he brought four individuals that are from four different backgrounds. Think about the people in the Bible from Mary Magdalene to the woman who was operating in a spirit of Pharisaical mockery that Paul called that spirit out of her to Apostle Paul himself, who originally was psycho Saul. And the fact that, um, who else? You could even say David. God used imperfect people. God used people that were not or would not normally be observed, especially in our times, as people that God would use. But if you pay attention to the people that he did use throughout the Bible, these people were not individuals that had a good record. They did not start off as individuals that you would naturally assume would be followers of God. Matter of fact, Mary Magdalene, was a prostitute. Uh, Apostle Paul killed Christians. Um, Let's look at Samson. He was vain. He loved to use his strength as a parlor trick. It was a joke to him. He mocked people with it until he came to a point that he no longer could uh, or no longer had the favor of the Lord on his life that ended up putting him in a situation where he was in a sentencing for his life. And he had to call upon God that his last act brought down even his enemies one more time. The soothsayer that was mocking Paul, she literally was operating in a level of um, psychic Manipulation at the very time in which she was delivered, which caused Paul to be put in prison and Silas to be put in prison because they delivered somebody that was assumed to be the money maker for her boss she 
She was operating in the spirit of Jezebel, but no God in her. What am I saying? The individuals that you see in this film outline that I am giving you. Every single one of them were operating as what one would say in today's society was a false prophet's position. But that's almost like a person that was operating in witchcraft, new age, whatever it is that you want to call it. Coming to God and then saying that they've turned over a new leaf. Have made the decision to allow God to use them. And then allowing God, because of the fact that he knows that he can position them wherever he wants to position them. That he can use them for his glory and his benefit. For those of y'all that would sit up there and say, Oh my God, this is a movie about magic and this and she's talking about tarot cards and this and that. God will use the foolish things to confound the wise. If y'all been paying attention to this channel longer than five minutes, you already know that God speaks to me through watching films, movies, television shows. And the one thing I never said to you guys was that I sat before the Lord and I said, God speak to me in a new way. During the season that he was not allowing me to have internet access in my dwelling place, I said, well, Lord speak to me in a new way. And he started to speak to me through television shows and TV series because I wasn't even watching television because of the fact that I was always on my phone. But when he started to speak to me in this way, I started to share with you the revelation. So I take and do not take lightly what he shows me in these films, these movies, these things that I see. Okay? Not by any means. So, when I come into this phase of what I'm talking about, I take it very seriously what I'm saying. Because of the fact that this is not a light amount of content, okay? This is something that is very and can be very controversial of a topic. And I'm going to need you to hear me with your spiritual ears. I'm still pray about whether I'm going to release this publicly because this may be recorded and hidden and put in a private place. If you see it, blessed be to Jesus, I let y'all see it. But if you do not see it, it's because I made the decision at the last minute to say, nah, I'm not going to share this. Meaning it'll still be posted, it just won't be where y'all will see it. Next, as we're picking up where we left off, the four of them have now gotten the plan. But it took the four individual elements of each individual and their specific skill set for them to be able to be used for the show in which they are preparing to perform. Let me bring you back to Luke 1 45. There shall be a performance of those things in which she believed. God in this season, Lord Father God, let me say this the way that you desire. That God is in this season preparing a stage to thoroughly embarrass his enemies. You see, if you look in the Bible, 
when Pharaoh chased the children of Israel out of Egypt. They had exited Egypt and were being chased by the Pharaoh to try and who tried to stop them after he came to the realization that I'm releasing my slaves. What the heck is wrong with me? So in Exodus, I'm trying to figure out which, ex, which part of Exodus. Water from the rock. Song of Moses. Okay. When Pharaoh chased behind the children of Israel, he chased them down. He got to a point that he was right behind them and they saw that Pharaoh was coming to come up behind them. And Moses parted the Red Sea and they were able to cross over unscathed. But the Egyptians washed up onto the shore. In this season, God is in the process that he is setting up kings, princes, and people in high power positions that as he is setting these individuals up and anyone with a spiritual eye and a spiritual ear can see it that he is setting these individuals in a state and in a position that when this happens He is going to, and it has been confirmed several times over, to bring forth a level of a supernatural wealth transfer that is unlike what anybody has ever seen. In Exodus, it talks about, in Exodus is 14... Is it 14, 14, or 13, Asks basically what it is. I can't figure out exactly which, where the scripture is, but um, because I'm looking at the Bible, but I'm not understanding which what the exact scripture is that I'm looking for. That it's somewhere between 13 and 14 of Exodus, where God tells the children of Israel to go to the house of all of the prominent people in Egypt taking borrowing shall I say their gold, their riches their this, their that and the other thing and it could only be due to the fact 
that God put a fear of God into these individuals because of all of the plagues that had already taken place, that these individuals would even have the fortitude of desire to willingly release their riches. Think about that. That these people were already willing to release their riches, their jewelry, their gold and their silver to these Israelites. Because of what had already happened, they had a wisdom. Look, God done did all this. We might as well give them exactly what they asked for. Here, 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 here. I want you to think about something for a second. Right around the time that that Pandora's box was happening in 2020, did you know that at the same time in other cities they were seeing a locust outbreak? And I literally believe that that wasn't the 17th year since the last locust outbreak. Because if I'm not mistaken, the last locust outbreak took place in twenty somewhere between twenty oh three and twenty oh five. So twenty twenty if it was 2003, then yeah, 2020 was 17 years later. So that was an accurate time frame because they say that locusts come out every 17 years, which would mean 20, 2003 was the last locust outbreak. And that was the same year as Pandora's box. We have been seeing horrible rainstorms. We've been seeing tornadoes and weather outbreaks. Now, I don't know if we've seen a red sea. I'd have to look for it. But we are coming into a time and a time frame that we've seen weather occurrences, all these kinds of things. Heating in usual places. God is not happy. Now some may say certain weather occurrences and certain things are this reason. God did this, God did that. Not everything God did, but God uses everything. Remember this. There is a shift that is occurring financially. And because of this shift, there is be being prepared a performance. For it says in the word in Psalms 23 and 5, he makes a table in the presence of your enemies when this movie picks up it's one year later after they got the plans and the schematics god will take you into hiding for a specific point in time as it states in romans let's see if i can open up the romans Jesus be events. How do I think Titus Sions? Romans, yay! I got it. That's nine. I want Romans eight. Eight and what? 20 something? 8 and... Let's 
for the creation was subject to fertility not of its own will but of the will of him who subject it in hopes because the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God we know that the whole creation has been groaning in travail together until now and now not only the creation but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit grown inwardly as we wait for the adoption as the sons of the redemption of our bodies for the hope that we will be saved God allows time to pass in such a way that he will take time to position you, prepare you, give you the plans, give you the wisdom and the instruction that he has children of God. And this is what makes this movie so intricate, but so poignant. Why? Because you have four individuals that have no idea who they are actually working for. But they were given a plan. Sounds like a situation that God would put his people in. Because God will give his children the plan and then put them into isolation for a season while they prepare the plan. And he orchestrates what? The individuals that are supposed to be associated with it in order to set up the scenario for if you go into the book of Ezra, 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 where is Ezra? That's Nehemiah. Chronicles, 1st Kings, 2nd Kings. Where's Ezra? The offense for Ezra. In the book of Ezra, I believe it's four or six. Okay. When the letter was received in Ezra five, they came to the realization okay that in all actuality there was a legal element in the letter in Ezra that made an addendum to the law to state the fact that the very people that would have tried to stop them ended up being the very people that had to help them continue to finish building the very wall that they were trying to tear down. Why am I saying this? These four individuals were working for a man that was funding their ability to even be in Las Vegas. And let's just take that into consideration, the fact that their show was in Las Vegas, one of the biggest sin cities in our world. That God will even use Satan's own platform. To make an open show of him. 
he will make Satan pay for it. For it says in Proverbs 6 and 31, I love this scripture. I, I live for it. Your enemy is going to have to pay you back sevenfold for everything they stole, even from their own house. That's what just happened with Ezra, right? So to have them do a show in Las Vegas is a representation of the fact that God is going to take these very same places that are corrupted and filled with sin where money was brought through siphoned taken from people's hands that it never should have been taken from and he's going to use these exact same places that christians that operate in a pharisaical spirit would never imagine and would probably question if the people were actually operating in a spirit of God. But God's going to go to where the money is at. And take the money from places like that. And bring it right back into the house to the children of God. Now I'm saying Vegas. Because that's the representation that this movie gave. But you think about every place that has a bad connotation that much money is spent in. You could say this about New York. You could say this about California. You could say this about some of your major cities where a lot of money exchanges hands. That God will go into these places and he will say, no, I got a specific plan for that situation. A specific outcome that he's trying to get from that situation. So this night, this is the premiere performance of these four horsemen. Now let's talk about the four horsemen. The four horsemen is revealed in the book of... Is that going to find me? No, Revelation. What the hell am I talking about? Revelations 5, 6, and 7. Is Revelation 6. Here we go. Where we see the seals are being opened. The first four seals are the first four horses. Ridden by the four horsemen. Okay. Let's do a recap. If you remember when I did the word mother. I talked about the four horsemen in that word too. But I didn't go too deeply into detail. What were our four horses? The white horse. The red horse. The black horse. And the pale horse. Okay. Okay. Each of these individuals, ironically, one of them is a red-headed woman. Another one is a brown hair. One's black haired. And another one's bald. But each of these individuals represent a horse. Okay. You have victory, you have famine, you have death, and then you have, what's the fourth one? The 
fourth horse was deaf. The third horse was a balancing of the scales. The bright red horse actually was meant to take peace from the earth. And then the first horse was victory. Now, these four horsemen, and I'm going to actually come back and talk a little bit further on this because we're really at the end of this video. Um, and I'm going to talk about the fact that how this performance is position this is their debut performance so as i set you up this is their debut performance there is a bank that is representing them and he has been convinced that he was to fund this performance and due to the popularity of these mis uh magicians he believes that he's going to recoup back the money that he spent to put them on the Vegas stage in the first place this is a specific banking system and I'm going to start I'm going to leave you with this factor did we not just see was it about three different major banks just crashed within the past three to four months? Major banks. People literally became scared because of the fact that these particular banks and their position to carry money has positioned them in such a way that people are terrified to keep their money in banks and they were trying to at one point prevent the people from panicking and moving their money and I'm going to leave you with this thought and notion do you know that banks will literally borrow money from your banking account. I've heard on more than one occasion where banks, a person called for their bank statement in the middle of the night and found, follow me, that when they called, their bank account had over 